Nutrition is so interesting on, on a lot of different levels. You know, at, at the core, we have to get the basics. We have to get the basics right. When we look in the cell, when we look at the molecular biology, so myself being a molecular biologist, we want to know everything that's happening between that first signal that's coming into the cell and then that physiology that's happening. But what's been shown in aging research is that communication signal gets lost or, or muted or attenuated as we get older. So the same signals are coming in, but the signal is much more dampened as it's going through the cell. So nutrigenomics is so exciting because what has also been shown is that you can put nutrients into the system to basically reawaken those cellular signaling pathways. There's been many, many different theories put out there as to why we age. But what's turned out to be the case is no one theory of aging has turned out to be the thing that we need to intervene on so that we can experience healthy longevity or keep ourselves as healthy for as long as possible. So what's probably going on are all these different theories of aging that are out there are having an additive effect to those declines that we see occurring with age. And this is what's so exciting about Life Vantage. We're looking at this layered approach now to these cell signaling pathways, what's happening to them as we age, and then basically layering a nutritional approach to these different theories of aging through nutrigenomics to try to keep us as healthy for as long as possible. Researchers found early on that as we age, we basically start to accumulate free radicals and other oxidants. And if left unchecked, this can go on to have very serious consequences to the cell. So then we call that going from oxidative stress to oxidative damage, where these oxidants are actually attacking the structures inside of the cell. But what's so interesting is our bodies have been able to capture the ability of antioxidants and put that capacity inside of our DNA and specifically in our genes. The main protein that's responsible to turn on those antioxidant and detoxification enzymes is a protein called NRF2. NRF2 is an incredibly interesting protein. Normally it's just sitting quietly in the cell, but when it starts to interact with things that shouldn't be there, so whether it's a toxin, a free radical, an oxidant, it gets released from the, the cell wall. It ultimately makes its way into the nucleus and is literally flipping the switches on our DNA to turn on these protective mechanisms. It's been shown that the activity of NRF2, both its sensing and then the signaling that's going through these different communication networks, actually is declining as we get older. And this actually starts as early as our 20s. So Protandum NRF2 is so interesting because it was specifically designed with a specific number of ingredients in the right ratios that has been clinically shown to activate the NRF2 protein, whether or not there are these insults that NRF2 is experiencing. So ultimately, again, it's gonna go into the nucleus of the cell, flip these protective genes on, but it's basically bringing our cells to a heightened state of readiness when those insults do ultimately enter the cell. So again, where this nutrigenomic research is so exciting is that we can utilize extracts from plants to basically reawake NRF2 and bring it back to its full potential, again, to help, help us stay as, as healthy for as long as possible. Another major theory of aging that's out there is the mitochondrial theory of aging. And depending on who you talk to, a lot of people will say there's a lot of overlap between the free radical oxidative stress theory of aging and the mitochondrial theory of aging. And the reason is as we get older, our mitochondria basically start to break down. And if you're not familiar with what the mitochondria are, that is where the vast majority of our energy production is happening. So you can think of the mitochondria as being the cell's powerhouse. And so when they stop working, we stop working. 
So as researchers went in and looked at what's happening in the mitochondria with age, they find that they're not producing as much energy, they become far less efficient, um, they also become oxidized from these other free radicals that they're one making and two that they're exposed to. So just the overall mitochondrial health in literally every aspect is declining as we get older. So Protandem and RF1 Synergizer was specifically formulated to target mitochondrial health. So we know that the protein itself, NRF1, is responsible for mitochondrial turnover. So as the mitochondria are starting to decay, we want to remove the bad ones from the cell and replace it with new ones. So NRF1 has been shown to, one, remove damaged or bad mitochondria, but then also is responsible for the biogenesis, right, the making of new mitochondria within the cell. And so Protandum NRF1 Synergizer was specifically formulated to, one, target the NRF1 protein, and then two, deliver nutrients that have been shown to promote overall mitochondrial health. A theory of aging that's really caught our attention lately is this sirtuin theory of aging, and it's a really interesting theory. Um, the theory really comes out of studies that were done looking at what they call caloric restriction. So what is caloric restriction? Caloric restriction is the process whereby we significantly reduce the number of calories that we're eating every single day, and it can be as much from 40 to 60%. So you might think, well, why is that so exciting? That sounds like a miserable existence, and it definitely is, right? When you actually go in and look at the physiology of individuals who are undergoing caloric restriction, you actually see just a tremendous amount of health benefits coming as a result. Healthy longevity, a healthy vascular system, helping us maintain cholesterol levels already in the normal range, and then a lot of cognitive functions. So our mood's a little bit better, we can think a little bit clearly once we've uh, acclimated to caloric restriction. Um, you do start to get some increases in energy as well. So if we're again talking about inputs versus outputs or, or the physiology or the health benefits that are being experienced, these researchers wanted to go in and understand the molecular biology through these cell signaling pathways or communication networks during caloric restriction. So when they were doing that, they went in and they identified a family of proteins called the sirtuins. And so it turns out when you remove sirtuins from the cell, and there's really easy ways you can do that genetically, or you put different inhibitors into the system so you keep these sirtuins from working, what they found is that you completely lost the health benefits of caloric restriction. So thus, sirtuins are absolutely required for the health benefits of caloric restriction. As this connection was made between caloric restriction and sirtuins, scientists wanted to figure out everything that they could about these sirtuin proteins. So what does it take for these sirtuins to work? One thing that they found absolutely required for sirtuin activity is a molecule called NAD. And this was really a, a surprise because normally scientists think of NAD as just living in the mitochondria, uh, living other places in the cell, involved in various aspects of metabolism and energy production. People really got interested in that relationship between NAD and sirtuins because now you had a direct link between metabolism and then ultimately a way to activate this family of proteins that's been shown to be so important for all these health benefits. So of course NAD becomes a very intriguing molecule. We started to ask the questions, were there ways that we could manipulate sirtuin activity through NAD without having to restrict all of those calories? So we went to work, we formulated Protandum NAD Synergizer specifically to target NAD and NAD dependent pathways with the ultimate goal of increasing sirtuin activity. So we went, performed our research studies with our strategic partners, and what we found is that three hours, we saw a 46% increase in sirtuin activity. And then when we looked at 24 hours after giving Protandum NAD Synergizer, we saw a 100% increase in activity. So I'm incredibly excited about what LifeVantage is doing with its Protandum family of products, how we're addressing 
these three different theories of aging, the free radical theory of aging, the mitochondrial theory of aging, and now the sirtuin theory of aging, it's really opening up the door of possibilities, both for future product development at Life Vantage, but I also really think it's going to start to change the conversation that people are having out there as it relates to healthcare. So taking a more proactive approach to our health and wellness instead of a reactionary approach.